Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope you all are doing good. Today we will solve problem number 2 on operating costing. Let's start. Problem number 2. From the following information, calculate number 1 total kilometers, number 2 total passenger kilometers. Okay, in this problem, what we have to do? First, we have to calculate the total kilometers. And second, total passengers kilometers. We will see what information they have given. Number of buses, 4. Days operated by a month, 30 days. Trips made by each bus is 2. Distance of route is 200 kilometers. Capacity of each bus, 40 passengers. Means in one bus, how many passengers can travel? 40 passengers. Average passengers traveling 70% of capacity. Means the bus is 70% full. So the occupancy rate is 70%. So by taking all this information, first we will calculate the total kilometers and then total passenger kilometers. Let's start the solution. First, we'll calculate total kilometers. So, to calculate total kilometers, what we have to take? Number of buses into distance into trips into number of days. So, number of buses. So, how many buses they are operating? Four buses. So, we'll write here. 4 buses, distance, distance of route is 200 kilometers. So, take here 200 kilometer trips. Trips made by each bus is 2. Right here, 2 trips into number of days. Days operated by a month is 30 days. So, take here 30 days. Now multiply all these things. 4 into 200 into 2 into 30. And you will get 48,000 kilometers. So the total kilometer is 48,000. Clear first one? Next we will calculate the total passenger kilometer. To calculate total passenger kilometer, formula is Number of buses into distance, into trips, into seating capacity, into number of days, into percentage of occupancy. In total kilometers, we just take number of buses, distance, trips and number of days. But for total passenger kilometers, we have to take seating capacity and percentage of occupancy. Okay. Number of buses, distance, trips, seating capacity, number of days and percentage of occupancy or percentage of seats occupied. So number of buses, same 4 buses, distance is 200 kilometers, trip, 2 trips, seating capacity. In each bus, how many passengers can sit? 40 passengers. So, right here 40 passengers into number of days. So, this bus is operated for 30 days. So, take here 30 days into percentage of occupancy. The bus is not 100% occupied. It is just 70% occupied. 30% is empty. So, take here 70%. Multiply 4 into 200 into 2 into 40, into 30 days, into 70%. And you will get 13,44,000. Total passenger kilometer is 13,44,000. For this, total kilometer is 48,000. Total passenger kilometer is 13,44,000. Okay, such types of problems will be asked for 5 marks. Got the solution? 
If you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video.